This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today, we're taking a look at yet another video review. Uh, this time, the application in question is called Countdown Plus Plus, or just Countdown, as I'll be referring to it as the uh, app review rolls on. And uh, this application is essentially exactly what you think it is. It is a countdown application for the iPhone, which means that you can enter dates or specific events that are coming up in the future. And then the app will give you a specific, uh, you know, month, week, day, hour, second kind of rundown of the actual events that are coming up. So here are some of the events that just kind of came stock with it. For instance, I have the third Monday in October, the Friday the 13th, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and then my anniversary with my girlfriend. So all that stuff is right here, and uh, as you can see, the clocks do run down in a uh, real-time sort of environment. So I've got 5 months, 20 uh, days, I guess. No, 5 months, 20 hours, excuse me. Uh, 48 minutes and 26 seconds left on that anniversary. And then likewise, same thing for Christmas, 191 days, so long. And uh, et cetera, et cetera, for the rest of these. If you want to view them specifically, you simply tap them. And then you have this, which is nice. You can go back to the list at any point in time simply by hitting this. Um, so that's there. The look of this thing itself is actually quite nice. I enjoy the uh, the sort of uh, you know um, stock little card sort of things that come with the application. This looks very aesthetically pleasing. And if you want to share either text or image versions of this, you can via a number of different methods: Facebook, Twitter, email, SMS, Tumblr, and LinkedIn of all things. Um, same thing for images. So if you wanted to send someone an email with this, or just save it to the photo album and send it to them via a uh, uh, you know, a text message, you could do that as well. So you could send them a quick reminder of when the event actually is. So that's quite nice. And then if you wanted to change the different settings within a specific, uh, you know, a specific countdown clock, you can do that as well. You can pop in, change the times, change the units around if you'd like. You can modify those to view a uh, to a display, excuse me, in any way that you like. You can also turn on, on uh, turn on notifications, modify the sound, or even the font, which is quite nice. If you'd like to import holidays or birthdays, you can also do that from your calendar. So all that stuff is quite nice. Um, a lot of different functions there, a lot of different settings to make sure that everything is exactly as you'd like it. In terms of interface, we do like the application. It's very simple and it's very, uh, you know, very lightweight, very easy to navigate. We do wish it came inspired with a little bit more Web 2.0 kind of aesthetics, maybe a few more animations, um, maybe some just slightly cooler, uh, you know, backgrounds, maybe just something, just a little extra kick at the pants to make it even more um, aesthetically pleasing. We know that's sort of a personal, uh, personal thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can't harp on too much about that, but we do wish that it was just slightly more aesthetically pleasing. But either way, completely functional, you're going to have no problem navigating the app's uh, features and you're not going to have any problem using it. So that's essentially what we have to show you and what we have to say about Countdown. Uh, other than you can add a new event simply by hitting this, and the application does tend to focus on birthdays and anniversaries. But if you'd like to enter something else, you can simply go to Other, type in the name of the event, and then select it from any number of these cards that are included which is quite nice. There's a wider range of these. You can also select a photo either from here or from your own personal library. So all of that's quite nice. And of course, you can also set up the usual stuff, dates, times, units, notifications, sounds, and font. So all of that works very well. It's extremely easy to use and the nice simple fill in forms make it simple to do. Simple fill in forms make it simple. Who knew? So anyway, that is essentially Countdown, and to give our final wrap-up, we think it's a very useful utility, especially if you need something like this, to count down the uh, exact hours and days and whatnot until a specific event. So with that in mind, we are going to give Countdown a 4 out of 5 star rating. You know, we think it's a brilliant little utility, and if you've been waiting for an uh, application like this, there's no better one to go with in the market as far as we're concerned. So again, 4 out of 5 star rating for Countdown. And that's all I have to say about it, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we'll see you guys later. Bye.